What's up everybody? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing super well. Welcome back. So last Wednesday I told you every Wednesday I was going to start doing a video like this where I share some of the more intricate details of my business. Listings I got, closings I had, deals I lost, successes, failures, all that stuff. So that's what this is. It's just kind of an update. And I know a lot of you are doing the 28 day challenge right now. This is week one of the four week 28 day Ricky Carruth real estate challenge and I've seen so many of your comments and your DMs and your emails this thing went way bigger than I, I was expecting. I had no idea how many people were actually going to jump on board for this and fully commit and dive in head first. It's been a little overwhelming to tell you the truth just to hear how much it's helping people get on the right track, get that daily routine in place. You know, what to do, when to do it, who to talk to, what to say, the whole nine yards. It's just been an incredible experience so far. So I can't wait to hear about all of your successes at the end of the 28 days. Comment below right now and let me know what you think about the 28 day challenge so far. And tomorrow I'm gonna go live at 4 p.m. Central right here on this YouTube channel and I'm gonna do kind of a Q&A. I wanna check in with you guys. It's gonna be 4 p.m. Central. I'll be live right here answering your questions. It's just gonna be kind of a, a coaching session, Q&A. I might even call a few of you in, so definitely tune in for that. It's especially if you have any questions or anything concerning the 28 day challenge because that's what it's really going to be about. I just want to get deeper in with what questions you have, how it's going, and how it can help you continue the momentum of the 28 days. This week, since last Wednesday, I picked up four new listings. Very excited about these listings. I actually already sold one of them. It, uh, it sold in about two days. So it was just one for about 150,000. Also listed a, a Phoenix 8 condo, three bedroom for five and a quarter. Really nice building, really nice spot, really nice unit all around. That came from a circle prospecting call years ago, been getting the weekly email, now they're ready to do something. I also listed a condo at one club, it's unit 610. That's for 195.5. It's a two bedroom. It's on. It's in this golf course kind of condo complex. It's really nice. It's overlooking a lake. And that client came from the development that I have in Foley, Sea Pines. They were driving through, ended up showing them some condos there. And uh, come to find out they own a condo on the beach and they've been getting my weekly email forever and I had no idea, but they own one on the beach, they own one at One Club, and they're thinking about buying one at Sea Pines if this one at One Club sells. And then I listed a house in Foley for $249. I actually sold this client this house years ago. Um, they're moving, it's a friend from high school, so it's kind of one of those deals. So really excited about those four new listings, so still working on getting the pictures, getting them on MLS on a couple of them, but coming soon. Also, closed three deals, all those went pretty smooth, or not, not completely smooth, but pretty smooth for the most part. They closed, so that's always good, but I did lose one. I wanted to talk about this with you. I lost a deal. I actually, it was a referral from a client who I've sold several properties for. I have a property listed for him now. He referred this buyer to me and uh, he's from out of state and he was looking at uh, investing in like a rental property, like a beach house. So he found one online and it's about 45 minutes from me. So we kind of did the research and decided this was one he might want to you know, focus on and might take a run at, but I had no idea. I had no idea if he was actually gonna make an offer or not, no idea in the world. But he wanted me to go look at this house 45 minutes away. So you think 45 minutes, I get there, I'm gonna look at it for you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, and then 45 minutes back. We're talking about a good two to three hours out of my day on this property for this buyer that I have no idea if he's actually gonna buy or not now or ever. And this always comes back to the relationships over transactions. You know, he asked me to do this and I was more than happy to do it and I'm not expecting anything out of it. I wasn't, you know, I'm doing it expecting that he's not going to do anything and I'm just going to basically, you know, deepen that relationship and let him know, hey, I'm willing to do whatever it is you need me to do. That's really all it was. But I went out there, the seller was there. Um, elderly gentleman, very nice, and we talked for a while. And at the end of the day, 
my buyer did make an offer. It was kind of a low offer, but they made an offer. So we submit the offer and we wait 24 hours, still haven't heard anything. You know, I'm getting with the agent and trying to find out what's going on. The seller's wife got in a car wreck the day that we made the offer. She, it, nothing, nothing fatal, nothing, nothing very serious, but she did get hurt. I think she broke a rib, so that's pretty serious, but nothing that's going to kill her, but she's going to need a lot of time to recover, so they decided to take that house off the market for now um, until she kind of recovers and they decide what they want to do. So my buyer was like, man, what luck is that, right? Because it's been on the market for a while. So I'm hoping for a very speedy recovery for her and that everything goes good there. And I told the agent, and the buyer said this too, if you know when they decide to come back, you know, let's re-engage with the offer and see where we stand. That's if my buyer hasn't found anything in the meantime. So we went back to the drawing board, looking at everything on the market, couldn't find anything that he was just in love with or decided that that might be the one for him like this house was. So for the time being, I've lost it. I did create that relationship. He does know that I'll do anything for him. I said, look, man, if you find another house, that you like, let me know. I'll go look at it and we'll do the same thing and see if it's something that we really want to go after. When I went and looked at the house, I really I found out that the house was in way better shape than I thought it was. So you know, I had to go look at it so that I could, you know, consult him for exactly the way that I think that he should have approached the offer, or even if she he should have even made an offer at all. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad to see all of you crushing this 28-day challenge. I had three closings, picked up four new listings, and I lost an offer that I'm still working with the buyer on. So that's been my week. Comment below and let me know how your week is going, how your week has been, what your successes, what your failures are. I would love to hear about them. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 4 p.m. Central for the live Q&A right here on this YouTube channel. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon. Let's go.